Ford Galaxy 2 liter TDCI engine. This is a second generation of Ford Galaxy, which also based on the same platform as Ford S Max. So this video can be applied to S Max as well. Uh, this video will show you how to replace oil and oil filter. First, what we're gonna do is jack up the tire, put it on stand. Don't use jack on its own because it's not safe. You can see two stands uh, on the subframe. I use some rubber bits so we don't do any little damage to the subframe. Then I, for this extra security, I have two jacks as well. These are three tone stands. And then for extra security, we choke the rear wheels, put it on a handbrake, but we don't take our chances there. As you can see, our wheels are choked. And let's go to the front and uh, remove the uh, bottom under cover. Then we have to remove this under cover. It held on uh, eight bolts like this, 10 millimeter. I think they are 10 millimeter. I'm gonna take this cover off both like this so the closer view for you so this one here I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna show you what it looks like that's one another one here in the corner then we have one here. Apart from eight balls, you have also a couple patches. I'm gonna show you them now. So we have bolts all around, and then we have a couple of catches here. You just pull them out, try not to break it, but just carefully pull them out, just just, just clip on, clip, clip off these catches. Then we have a sun plug, some um, forts they have it on the side. With a well, that can be opened with an eight millimeter Allen bolt. Some of them, like this model, has um, at the bottom of the uh, oil tray. So uh, we put a normal plastic tray underneath. So let's open this bolt. Be, um, the, when you're draining the oil, oil must be close to the um, working temperature because it's thinner then. But on the other hand, try not to burn your fingers. So make sure when you're turning, you don't have your fingers under the oil flow. We're gonna do now. There we go. There it goes already. There we go. Simple. Then we catch it with the tissue. I do like, despite it's windy, it still goes straight down. I kind of like this system when it goes directly down because when it's on the side, you're kind of guessing how far it will go. So it's pretty good. So let's drain and let's go to the top and uh, change the oil filter and do the rest. While this is all draining, let's go to the top and open the bonnet and see what's going on in here. So we just simply pull this plastic up and take it off. Sometimes it can be held on little bolts. This particular car has just two clutches here and then these two bits go into these holes. Just pull it off. Next thing that we want to do is to change the, replace the oil filter, which is pretty hidden just under there. I'm going to show you where it is. For that we will, by the way, we can open this oil plug just to get some air inside. And then we're going to take it out of here. There's like a little lever. You push it and you take the, this little tube out and you move it out of the way to get access to the oil filter. 
Let's get a closer view on the oil filter. Run it, please. As you can see, this is the one. Uh, despite what it looks like on the camera, it's quite restricted to access. You can't get there with a good tool. So let's talk about tools. The best tool you can have for oil filter, of course, is something like this. Uh, I bought this one on eBay for eleven ninety five, including delivery. I put the link, my affiliate link, uh, in the video description where you can buy this. It's good for Peugeot, for Fords, and it's just you put it on the filter and then undo it. Alternatively, if you're in rush to do it, if you have a short ratchet, it probably won't do because it's quite tall. And once you start undoing it, it sticks to the top, to the plastics at the top. So you can break it loose with this, but you can't unfortunately undo it. Alternatively, you can set up spanner for 27 mil. It's 27 mil that bit at the top so you can try to go out turning but it's also quite a big hassle so I recommend this tool. This tool has a half inch hole for ratchet so what, what you do you pretty much put it in and then you it's quite tough there we go Now it's loose and you can do it without the ratchet. So you can turn it. Once you make it even more loose, you can undo it by hand. You can turn it by hand. You can eventually take it out. And get ready, get prepared the um, tissue so we catch any oil. So get your tissue ready, and here comes the filter. This is what it looks like. You can pull it out of here, and we're gonna replace the rubber bit as well. So this is our old filter, and this is the top of it. Then we have to take take a screwdriver and take this rubber off because it's meant to be replaced. New filter comes with a new rubber. We, to avoid any jamming, any pinching, we lubricate it with the oil. Nice and easy. And then we put it, put it on. Make sure that it sits straight everywhere along the groove. Not on the thread. Then we put it on. Make sure it's straight, it sits straight along the groove. Not on the thread, but in the groove. When it's meant to be. And then we'll take a new... This is what it looks like, the hole where you need to put the filter in. So you just put it in and screw it. We'll take new filter and put it in till it clicks slightly so it, gets, it stays in. And then we we'll just put it in there the way it was there. Once you got it in, Definitely start it by hand so you know you don't break the thread. It goes pretty easy originally. Once you have tightened it with hands as far as you go can go and then uh, tighten it with a wrench. A tightening torques, torque for this particular one is 25 Newton meters. So this torque wrench is set for 25 Newton meters. If you don't have a torque wrench just make it tight but don't over tighten it because it's only plastic. 
I don't think it's that matters 25 exactly, but we want to we want it to be perfect. And have a look in here. It's 20, 25.9. That will do. So now you know your filter oil filter has changed. Now we're ready to put our sump plug back in. Ideally, you should re replace either together a whole new bolt or just a washer. Washer is made of the soft metal, so it just holds oil, so nothing is leaking. Because um, it's Sunday, everything's closed, so we couldn't find anything, but it's pretty good condition of this washer. So this little sticking out bit goes inside the bolt, because bolt has a little groove here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this bolt, it's 21 mil, and we're going to put it back in. Tightening torque for this, if it's the same as my VW, because it seems to be same size, so it's 35 newton meters. I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna put, set the torque range. So I'm using the torque range. You don't have to, but I want it to be perfect. 38, that will do. Now we're gonna clean it all up. So it stays nice and clean. And let's go back to the top and uh, put the oil in. And off we go. Now let's put this hose for the oil back. Now it should click. There you go. So now we're gonna put new oil before you put in new oil, new oil never forget to close the plug at the bottom because i had it once on my audi in my previous car i just pulled half a bottle and then everything <laughs> came out at the bottom this engine takes just over five liters if we replace the uh, oil filter as well and normally you would replace oil filter so some sources say it's 5.1 some sources say it's 5.3 so what we're gonna do I'm gonna take the oil, 5 liter bottle we've got here. So make sure you get your right specs. It must be fully synthetic designed for your engine. Get the, uh, when, when, whichever garage you buy it from, just check with them. And so I'm going to put this all 5 liters in. Eventually we got all 5 liters in. Nearly there. So what we're going to do now, once the oil gets in, I'm going to lower the car, put it back on the ground, so it levels, uh, stays on a normal level. Then we're going to start the engine, let the oil go through the system, anywhere it needs to go. And then we're going to check the level and top up if necessary. And this is what we do with the old oil. We put it in our empty bottle. And then we dispose it. Lots of recycling places take them, so take them there. Don't pour it into the ground because it's not good. Don't forget to put the undercover back in. Now we're going to start the engine, let it run through the system. There we go, happy days. Now let's check the level. Clean it first. Put it in and have a look where it is. So that's the minimum, that's the maximum. It's just a little bit under the minimum, so I believe we can put like hundred, couple hundred grams. Okay. 
let's check it again thing is gone right to the middle and very close to the top so that will do so this is how you change the oil and oil filter do the oil service that's it job done well, what we need to do now is reset the service to reset service on this car you put ignition on this is keyless ignition in this car so then you press brake and accelerator at the same time then it shows service oil reset in progress you have to press it for at least 15 seconds and then service oil reset complete so you press ok and now now it's all reset